Hey, hi. It's Professor Bloom. Um, so I wanted to give you a short video. I'm trying to keep this under five minutes um, to give you some options about where to eat. Um, in my other video, the longer one that I call just promo or the promotion for the trip, um, I do talk about a little, well, it's not little, but a pretty good sized mall tucked inside a traditional street not far from the hotel that has a food court upstairs. Um, many students went to McDonald's. Um, the food there is actually pretty good. It's, um, if you like McDonald's food, I think you'll really like uh, the food. They have different food um, quality standards in Europe, meaning that there's different processing in the cheeses and meats that they use. So I know that the Subway sandwiches, um, I, I think there's one Subway shop in Porto, um, or there used to be at least. But anyhow, they made all of their cold cuts in Denmark, and uh, they have really strict standards for um, just food preparation. So you might be eating at McDonald's. It's about the same price as you would in the United States. My goal is for you to eat and to spend exactly what you eat and spend when you are in country. So if you go to the grocery store, then you can go to the grocery store. Your room will not have a refrigerator, however, which simply means that you'll be just be going to buy your dinner or your food and going down to the door with a couple of folks and eating it as a picnic or bringing it to your room and eating. Um, spending about the same amount of money that you would at home. That is my goal. Um, however, there are going to be times when you're going to want to have someone serve you some food or to walk into, for example, this place here called Tropical. The Tropical is literally across the street from the Move Centro Hotel. And many students would go in there. Um, as you can see, you can sit down in front and have some service or you can go inside. Inside the tropical, there are um, places where you can see if I can get this to forward. Um, places where you can get that's a pretty good image of it. I only went in here one day. I walked straight up to the bar area. This is more snack bar than bar, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I walked up to the counter. I did not sit down, and in the case, there were a bunch of sandwiches. They were like sub sandwiches. I got a chicken one. It was three euro fifty. The euro in the U.S. dollar is about the same right now. We are so lucky. I cannot even tell you to be able. Sorry about that ping. <laughs> uh, I ordered a some probably like I don't drink a lot of soda, but I think I got like a can of Coke or something and the entire bill for this rather large sandwich and this can of coke was five euro that's pretty typical at a place that would call itself a bar or a snack bar you can sit down and there's a variety of different foods oh that's such a good view so um it looks like a rainy day i try not to show rainy day pictures when i'm talking just with students and family but uh they do happen we are right on the atlantic all right. Oh, you know, anyhow, there's things in here I'm looking at. Um, this looks like pre-restoration um, of the building across the street. At any rate, you can just pop over to the tropical. Also, down to the right a little bit is an ice cream place, and um, some students were committed to, sorry about that, were committed to trying a different type of um, ice cream or, you know, sorbet or something every single day, and it was fun for them. Um, this restaurant called Brasa is right across the street diagonally from Move Hotel. Again, if you don't want to just pick up a sandwich, but you would like to sit down with some folks on the trip, some friends you've made, um, I don't mind having students join me for just a simple dinner across the street. I'm. This is exactly kind of, this is not my meal, but this is more or less what I ate. This is probably like a half of chicken. Um, you know, like a European chicken, not like a eight pound US chicken, you know, uh, a bunch of these batata frita or French fries, a little uh, salada mista, which is just a, you know, some shredded carrots, etc. Everything's super fresh. You, if you don't like un raw onions, you might really be amazed to try them in Porto. Um, here there's some bread. And this to me is a pretty simple, great meal. 
this cost me uh, I probably with a drink I may just have water of course you can drink the water in all of Europe um, but um, 10 euro maybe up to 12 euro to sit down so budget that in if you think this looks like something you would like to sit and to have something to eat there's that chicken this is a um, ch over charcoal inside the store it's quite delicious you can get rice I don't eat a, a wide variety of um, proteins but there's some more chicken and there's the interior I just sit outside on the sidewalk under and have a tent up these guys are super super nice they speak English they're used to working with people from all over the world there's a lot of hotels in the neighborhood um, Lado Bay is another sorry I have to keep squinching this around but we'll get you a good view Lado Bay I think is kind of trendy again you'll see a uh, snack and bar uh, they will serve beer and alcohol of course here I mean it's pretty common in Europe and Lado Bay that means side B like a side to B of an album and it's really modern it opens at 12 I went there a student on her first day at 12 and by 1205 there was a huge line outside the door um, you'll notice that English is everywhere it's on the menu they will hand you a menu that is in English what's to say another venture by Arthur Ribeiro well known as the founder of Jojo's music one of the best known and most prestigious record stores in the city of Porto I don't think I knew that Braga is a different city, but they have another Lado Bay. So what I would suggest is just if you're thinking, well, how much money should I bring? Well, again, are you going to go to the grocery store and buy a wrap sandwich for three euro and a piece of fruit and keep to that five dollar a meal plan? Or are you going to want to go and uh, sit down? I think you should. You should sit down once in a while at a restaurant and experience some of the foods. Let's see here if they have this says menu ah here we go so this one's in Portuguese but we don't have to worry about that we can make our way through this menu oh it's already at seven minutes oh well I think it's okay I'd rather you know this information and take time to do it just trying to pull this out a little bit so I would say like you're looking at prices anywhere from like a hamburger for six euro 50 to um, four dollars for a cheeseburger I'm sorry again this is off the thing here <laughs> come on stretch out what's the matter um let's see here this is called the best chocolate cake in the world oh melior bolo de chocolate do mundo and uh for four euro and 25 cents you know I've eaten it it's no joke then you can also just do more less expensive things take time when you get a menu keep your budget in mind I would like to spend lower than 10 euro per meal so here are some little tostas just some little sandwiches um, this could be very satisfying for most people to sit and you can scroll through you can get a bigger salad a small salad and anyhow drinks you can see here anywhere from you know 180 up to um, more expensive for some fresh juices okay I hope that gives you an idea again the choices that I am giving you just to look at La Dobe um, Brasa which is across the street uh, diagonally and the Tropical which is directly across the street from the hotel and again I did not sit down anywhere but you could also just sit at this bar there's sandwiches and pictures this server here he's gonna speak enough English you're going to be fine okay I hope that's helpful as you start to set some of your um, budget in your mind all right more exciting videos to come about your trip to Porto Portugal this summer